Hey, what's up guys? BossX7 here with another normal suit tutorial. And today I'm going to show you guys how to add off-ride audio. Now this uses a script and a few other files. So it will allow you to add, um, say for instance, a PA noise or ambient noise around your station or even just some music. So uh, yeah, so let's get started. So first off, go ahead and open up your park. And I will be supplying all of the downloads in the description for this uh, tutorial. So you're going to need up, you're going to need five files. You're going to need the script which is called static sound. You're gonna need a simple target NL2 SEO, box.lwo, target preview, and a .ogg file of your choice. Now, I will be supplying the four out of the five in the description. And if you guys need a audio file converter, just let me know, I can link you one. And so you can convert all your uh, audio files to .ogg to make them compatible. All right, now go ahead and locate the description and download those files. Now, after you've done that, Go ahead and copy the four files from your downloads and go to your com.lms2 coaster and then locate the park file of your choice and go ahead and copy all of those files into your park. Now once that's done, uh, go ahead and edit the script. So you're going to need a .ogg file. So go ahead and pick out the music that you want or any kind of sound that you want. Convert it to .ogg. Now give it a name. So say for instance, the name is just music with all lowercase. Go ahead and go to the script. And where you edit the music, or I mean where you edit the input file of the uh, audio, go ahead and type in uh, your uh, .ogg file name and make sure it's in the same directory. So don't have the audio file in a different file somewhere else. Then navigate yourself to the editor and then we're going to go ahead and hop in here. So, so once the files are all in there, go ahead and go to scenery in the editor and then go to choose and you should have a simple target NL2 SEO file right here. Now, so mine doesn't have the uh, JPEG picture on here. I'm not sure why, but all right. Now, go ahead and click it and press OK. And then you'll see it, we have this object here. Now, press Add Object. All right. Now, once it's added, you can go ahead and drag it somewhere and you're done. So what this basically does is that the script assigns that audio file to these objects here. So I can add multiple ones. I can add another one over here if I wanted to. And it will uh, play the audio from these cubes here. All right, now if you want to adjust the volume in the script, there is two lines. One is called float distance and one another one is fall off. Now there's two numbers there. Go ahead and adjust those numbers to what you want. But now basically what that does is expand the audio radius. So if you want to have a longer distance where you can hear the audio, go ahead and increase the float rate. And for the fall off, that's basically when, when it hits the end of that box where you can hear the audio, that's when the music will start going down. So. You can extend that so you can hear the fall off from a distance or it will cut off right away. So that's all in your choice. You can go adjust those numbers if you would like. And let's go ahead and test this out. So once these are added here, we can go ahead and go to the play, play mode here and see if it works. All right, there we go. So you see that it works. Now there's still one more thing we have to do, and that is get rid of these orange boxes here. So to do that, go ahead and double click on it and go over to scale here. And let's type in 0 0.000001. And then there we go. Let's highlight this and copy. And let's go ahead and control V here and then press apply. Now you see what that does is makes it invisible. So now it's not there anymore. So the audio will still play and it makes all those boxes invisible. So let's go ahead and do it for this one too. There we go and press apply and there we go. Now we're done. All right, that's gonna do for today's video guys. Hopefully this tutorial helped you guys and uh, should've been pretty easy. I'll leave all the links in the description down below. There will be to Dropbox. I'm not sure if they're gonna be a 7-zip file just yet or an NL2 package. So I'll, I'll decide that in a little bit. And if you guys have any questions, don't forget to ask me in the comments. If you guys have any suggestions for tutorials, don't forget to leave a comment down below. And if you guys like this video, leave a like and subscribe for more. Until you find your way back home.